Okay, so today we're going to see another block uh, underneath um, looks category as well as this particular block is called uh, stack uh, type of stack. That means you can attach any other block in the bottom of this as well as on the top of this block. Right, so uh, you can stack one block on a top of another block. Okay, so in the last tutorial, I guess um, um, we looked at change, um, we looked at this one, right? Change couple of effects by certain value. Now, this one today it's saying set the same type of effect to specific value. Okay, so the difference is that this one, the change. Uh, let's say you change by 25 for example now you and then second time you change by another 5 it will st it will go from 25 to 30 okay now set you are changing directly to that particular value so if I say 30 it will change to 30 if I say uh, now 12 it will go back to 12 so it's it just uh, set the very specific value okay and uh, okay now now let's go back and delete this one and let's uh, concentrate on this one I reset this particular sprite so by now I'm sure you know how to add the sprite from the library as usual um, and uh, let's go and change the color right so the the, the list uh, the, the list of effects are the same uh, color you can change the color by certain value you can I, I mean I wouldn't say change now you can set the color so you can set the color by specific value you can set the fisheye effect by certain uh, value right you can uh, let's go one by one and let's uh, do some experiment here so right now we are setting the color to uh, value to let's say 50 which is let's see what it does right so it's changing the color to 50 if I say 0 it's going to reset okay and then if I going if I go to 50 it's again it's going to change now let's say now if I go 55 it's just keep changing the uh, so, so it will set to the very specific value where the other one changing the color uh, from that particular point okay so now let's change the fisheye effect uh, to the specific value right and uh, let's reset back uh, let's go let's change everything so now let's change the color I'm gonna change the fisheye to 55 see now if I keep uh, if I click uh, uh, if I double click this a uh, couple of times it's already changed the effect to 55 so it's not doing anything now okay so that's the uh, difference between change change uh, as many times you change uh, you, you click this change color or change fisheye it will keep changing forever this one if you set it to 55 after that doesn't matter how many times you click it's not going to change okay now so that's the difference between change and set now let's change the world wheel means a sort of rounding effect so let's say right so it's setting to 55 uh, let's change the pixelate right so now it's uh, removing some pixel right uh, as we looked at the last time uh, mosaic let's see okay it's multiplying the same sprite multiple times brightness change the brightness as I same thing so here if I double keep double clicking this guy it's not it's set to 55 and that's it of course if I change it to different value like 20 it's going to change to the 20 okay um, ghost effect let's say let's put some more value 50 right so it's a ghost effect okay so let's reset this back again ghost effect is kind of bright right so if I say now ghost effect to 100 boom right so the sprite disappeared okay um, same way if I brightness to 100 so it's become bright right so it's so bright that you cannot see anything inside the sprite okay 
uh, let's go back to zero brightness uh, you can reset that uh, sprite okay so yeah um, this is a very brief tutorial uh, how to use this particular blog uh, in a future tutorial we will see in a more uh, uh, usage of this sprite uh, sorry uh, the usage of this blog in a various application right in a game in a um, uh, art in a story okay so yeah thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next tutorial